If anti-infective therapy begins when the patient shows signs and symptoms of an infection, but prior to lab confirmation of the microorganisms present, it is called empiric therapy. The anti-infective treatment that appears likely to combat the client's infection based on the signs, symptoms, and known exposure is selected pending the exact identification of the organism. Most often, a broad-spectrum antibiotic, one that has known effects against a wide range of bacteria, is chosen. Though anti-infective therapy is often aimed at treating an existing infection, it may be given for prophylactic reasons. For instance, a patient who has a history of endocarditis or is to undergo a procedure that carries a higher risk of infection might be given a broad-spectrum antibiotic beforehand. The patient is a 48-year-old man with squamous cell carcinoma in the right mandible. He underwent partial mandibulectomy and surgical resection of the right cheek and was subsequently discharged home. Four days later, he arrived at the emergency room of the hospital with a fever of 100.8 degrees Fahrenheit, or 38.2 centigrade orally, and complaints of fatigue, recent chills, and pain in his right cheek. On exam, the patient's cheek was noted to be red and swollen with a green-brown discharge that was slightly foul-smelling. The patient said that he had no energy and could barely get dressed. The previous night he took his temperature, and it was 101 Fahrenheit orally. He took some ibuprofen, which reduced his fever, but did little for the pain. A CBC, or complete blood count, was drawn. The WBC, or white blood count, portion of this test provides an overview of a patient's current immune response. Before starting any antibiotics, a sample was obtained from the wound and sent to the lab for culture and sensitivity. Tobramycin sulfate, Nebsen, was started as empiric therapy for this client who presented to the ER with a high suspicion of mandibular and or cheek wound infection. And what we're going to do is we're going to get you started on a broad spectrum antibiotic and we're going to start that right away because of the seriousness of your infection. Prior to administration of an antimicrobial, care should be taken to determine if the client has ever had an allergic reaction to antibiotics or any other medications. The nurse should flag any allergies by writing the name of the medication on the front of the patient chart and communicate the information to the physician and pharmacist. In many facilities, the patient wears a red wristband to indicate an allergy. Are you allergic to anything? <laughs> yes, I'm allergic to penicillin. As with all medications, it is necessary to monitor for an allergic reaction, especially with the first dose. Signs and symptoms include rash, itching, hives, wheezing, or difficulty breathing. Vital signs must be closely monitored with an emphasis on the trend of the temperature as well as the respiratory rate accompanied by any sign of respiratory distress. If the client is going home on antibiotics, he must be instructed to report any of these symptoms immediately to his health care provider. Anaphylaxis, a life-threatening response, usually occurs within minutes. Signs and symptoms include respiratory distress, swelling, urticaria, also referred to as hives, and hypotension.